China lacked high-speed railways at the start of the 21st century. Train travel in this huge nation was sluggish and frequently uncomfortable, with low average speeds making trips like Shanghai to Beijing a test of endurance. Today, the situation is very different. The country with the largest population has, by a significant margin, the largest network of high-speed trains. How progressed is China's high-speed rail system? The world's largest and still-growing high-speed rail, or HSR, network is in China. Chinese high-speed trains are a remarkably comfortable mode of transportation. In terms of high-speed rail technology, China is the global superpower. According to media sources, the nation has 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail lines and expect to construct 1,400 more by the end of 2022. Welcome to our new video. Let's see how China progressed in its high-speed railway system. Don't miss it! For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button. No high-speed train existed in China before 2008. Not at all. All of the country's major megacity clusters are connected by no less than 37,900 kilometers, approximately 23,500 miles of lines, all of which have been finished since 2008. China has developed a new type of bullet train, the Fushinghao high-speed train. A customized Fushing bullet train with a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour has been introduced in China. On June 26, 2017, Fushinghao made its debut. Additionally, Fushinghao has expanded to include more rail lines connecting important cities, including Nanjing, Wenzhou, Hangzhou, and Huzhou, among others. In order to facilitate intercity traffic as well as the journey between the Olympic venues, passenger services on the Beijing Zhangjiaoku High Speed Railway began in December 2019. The Beijing Zhangjiaoku High Speed Railway provided passenger services during the January 21st to March 16th Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games in 2022 in Beijing. More than 560 passengers can board the 8-car electric multiple unit or EMU bullet train, which also has a media workspace in one of the carriages. Along with supporting the Beidou navigation satellite system, the train will also have air purifiers, ski equipment lockers, and wheelchair-accessible places. Official Chinese media, according to Zhu Yan, the deputy chairman of the CRRC Changchun Railway Vehicles Engineering Research Center, said that the train has more than 2,700 automatic inspection sensors that can collect data in real-time and offer operation and maintenance advice after calculation. This train is considered to be the world's first high-speed train to feature a 5G broadcast studio, which can broadcast using 5G. The autonomous driving technology is expected to use up to 7% less energy by taking the place of human drivers on the Zhangjiakou Beijing trip. Due to the region's high-altitude geology, the Fuxing trains that will operate on the Lhasa Linji Railway are outfitted with both internal combustion engines and electricity. It went on to say that the trip from Beijing's central business district to the Olympic venues in Zhangjiakou would just take 50 minutes. This travel takes three hours in a normal express train. According to the state-affiliated media agency CGTN, the railway's construction started in 2018 and in 2019 saw the completion of the beijing Zhangjiakou link. On the stretch, China's first EMU outfitted with smart technology was revealed in 2019 to commemorate the 110th anniversary of the country's first railway, ushering in a new era of strength building for the country's transportation sector. This transportation strategy had been in the works in China for a while. Beijing reportedly approved a $9.22 billion budget in 2015 for the development of this train route. Three years later, in 2018, the railroad's construction got underway, and the Beijing Zhangjiakou Link was finished in around a year. The Fuxing is an amazing transportation system for more reasons than only its great speed and autonomy. The bullet train travels through the battling Great Wall Station in the middle of its journey from Beijing to Zhangjiakou. The entrance to the most well-known stretch of the centuries-old Great Wall of China is just a few feet away from the station. Additionally, it has become the deepest high-speed railway station in the world because the train line was built underground to prevent structural damage to this UNESCO World Heritage Site. As we go deep into the facts about the bullet train, you might be amazed. I think this bullet train is built to break some records. Let's see. The explosions was precisely timed by the engineers to the one thousandth of a second using an electronic detonator. As a result, the personnel were able to keep the vibration velocity at or below 0.2 centimeters per second. Or to put it another way, every explosion was planned such that its effect would not exceed that of a single footstep on the ancient structure. The station, which spans more than 36,000 square meters and is 102 meters below the ground, also has a 12-kilometer-long network of tunnels. 
The three-story building is not just the deepest functioning subterranean high-speed railway station in human history, but also the largest. The second longest escalator in China, measuring 88 meters long and 42 meters high, is also located here. With 477, 401, and 330 high-speed trains respectively, France, Japan, and the UK are the three nations with the most high-speed trains outside of China. There are 2,425 high-speed trains worldwide, with China owning more than 2,500 of them. According to information released by the International Union of Railroads, or UIC, in April 2017, there are undoubtedly more high-speed trains in China than in the entire rest of the world. The EMU, or Electric Multiple Unit, has a lower wind resistance and is lighter thanks to the use of new materials and technology, as well as an eagle-shaped nose that was selected from over 40 designs. These qualities make it a green EMU that's 10% more energy efficient than previous versions, saving 1.8 million kilowatt hours of electricity every year. With the help of the latest communication hardware, cameras and sensors, the train can scan up to 14 kilometers ahead to probe for any abnormal intrusions on the tracks, according to Zhou. China has sold its high-speed rail technologies to Indonesia for the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed train. Construction of the railway has been continuing successfully and approaching completion. A number of other countries, notably Laos, also utilize Chinese-made trains. However, these versions move at lesser speeds. This next generation of smart EMUs also stands a high possibility of updating China's existing domestic bullet train fleet, the world's largest numbering at 4,000. Why take trains in China? Firstly, China's high-speed trains travel at speeds ranging from 200 to 350 kilometers per hour. When compared to a conventional speed train, G trains, the fastest train, save more time half the time. The G3 train from Beijing to Shanghai, for example, takes only 4 hours and 48 minutes, whereas the D321 takes 11 hours and 49 minutes, and a regular speed train takes more than 15 hours. Secondly, the flexibility in time. There are many bullet trains running during the day, particularly between major cities, so you can pick the one that best fits your schedule. If necessary, you can easily cancel or change your reservations. And more importantly, the trains are punctual. High-speed trains, in contrast to airplanes and normal speed trains, have a high punctuality record. Weather and traffic control have less of an impact on this type of train. It also takes precedence over a regular speed train on the same railway line. Compared to the old type of high-speed train, Hexi Hao, Fuxing Hao is faster, safer, and more comfortable. More space between seats. Each seat is equipped with two power sockets, and reading light is provided above each seat. On board, new and modern amenities make your travel to China more comfortable. On a train, you can get nearly the same service as on an airplane, plus you can walk around. Furthermore, you can use the internet without worrying about interfering with the train signals. Now let's get into the facilities inside China's bullet train. The middle carriage of a railway has a dining car and a canteen bar. At the end of each carriage, free boiling water is given. All trains traveling at a high speed have full air conditioning. Adjustable seats allow you to sit comfortably during the voyage. Will you take a train when you visit China? Or will you visit China just to take a train?